ever get that feeling like your computer screen is this total disaster zone, <laughs> windows just everywhere. Oh, yeah. You know, like you've lost control of your own digital world. I've been there. It's overwhelming. Well, today we're diving into something that might just be the antidote. We're talking about I3. I3, yeah. yeah. A tiling window manager that honestly could revolutionize how you use your computer. So we asked you all to send in some stuff from their website. Mm -hmm. And it's actually really interesting stuff. Like they have this whole philosophy and I'm not even sure where to start. But let's let's just jump right in. What is a tiling window manager? Okay, so picture this. Mm -hmm. Instead of having windows like scattered around your desktop like papers on a really messy desk. Right. You've got this system where they automatically snap into a grid. Okay. So every pixel on your screen is used intentionally, efficiently. That's I3. It's about being deliberate with your digital space. So instead of me like resizing and dragging and dropping windows, exactly. it does it for me. It takes care of all that for you. And the best part, it's ridiculously customizable. You can tweak it to fit your workflow perfectly. So it's not like, I don't know, some preset thing that's like, this is how you will organize your windows. Not at all. And that's where their whole do it, I mean, philosophy comes in. Okay, yeah, I was going to ask you about that because yeah. I saw that on the website and I was like, what does that even mean? So full disclosure, most window managers out there. Yeah. Notoriously complex, even for like hardcore programmers. Uh -huh. But the folks behind i3. They wanted to change that. They focused on clear documentation, readable code, basically, mm. making i3 something you could actually understand and modify yourself. So it's almost like they want you to be in control. Exactly. They empower you to make it your own. That is very cool. Right. So they have this list of like nine goals, nine things they want i3 to do, and some of them seem, I don't know. A little intimidating. Yeah. Like different modes like Vim. What is that? Okay. Imagine this. You're not even touching your mouse. Okay. Your fingers are flying across the keyboard, hitting shortcuts to open, close, resize, move windows, all with incredible speed. Okay, so it's like instead of dragging, I'm just yeah. like boom, boom, boom. Exactly. Like different modes on your keyboard, just like uh -huh. Vim, you know, with its insert mode and command mode. Yeah, I'm starting to get it. So it's all about like efficiency. Precisely. Okay, okay. Now this one I have to ask. True. Sure. They talk about the usual elitism of minimal window managers. Right, right. Are they calling us elitist for wanting a clean desktop? No, 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 no. Don't worry. It's not about being elitist in a bad way. It's more about this dedication to minimalism, to keeping things streamlined. Okay. No unnecessary bloat, just the essential tools you need, nothing to distract you. And honestly, for the right kind of user, someone who values efficiency mm. above all else, that's a dream come true. It's like that old saying, a place for everything and everything in its place. Exactly. It's about intentionality. And it's not just about the software itself, you know. They have a whole section on their values. Yeah, and that's what really struck me. It's more than just lines of code for these guys. Right. Like, backward compatibility is a huge EE one for them. They want to make sure that when they release updates, they don't break your existing setup. You know how frustrating it is to spend hours customizing oh, something yeah. only to have it all disappear after an update? They want to avoid that at all costs. It's about respecting your time and effort. That is huge, especially in the world of software, where it seems like every update is a gamble. For sure. Okay, so this all sounds amazing, especially for, you know, the more... Uh, Technically inclined. Yeah. But what about someone who's just curious about i3? Is it even remotely beginner-friendly? You know, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing. The core principles of I3 intentionality, efficiency, minimalism, yeah. those are beneficial for anyone, right? Absolutely. Even if you don't go all in on tiling window managers, maybe there are tools inspired by I3 or even just ways to apply its philosophy that could help streamline anyone's digital life. That might be a good place to start. That is something to think about. So much to explore. All right, everyone, check out I3. It might just change your digital life and keep those deep dive suggestions coming because we love hearing from you. Until next time.